<laughs> all right all right so i just watched the 50th 50th movie ladies and dudes and it was beethoven <laughs> i'm just gonna tell you right now definitely sucked but for a couple reasons the main reason being it was cliche for everything besides the villain and oh my god the villain just like in the Air Bud movies, this, there was a villain that wants to steal a dog for some reason. But in this movie, it was because he's testing out bullets by blowing up dog heads. <laughs> so he wants to get Beethoven so he can shoot it in the head and see how big of his head explodes. So they can range the bullet and see how much collateral damage... The bullet makes you know for kids right <laughs> so besides that they just they get it they find the dog and the dad doesn't like dogs and he's too worried about his career and the family you know you know loves the dog and then the dad comes around and likes the dog too and they have to save the dog from this guy so he doesn't shoot it in the head and kill it by exploding its head <laughs> for kids um but yeah other than that it was pretty boring really uh, the guy just comes in at the end, he's the veterinarian, and he, like, hits the dog to make the dog attack him so that the the, uh, the family thinks they had to put it down, and then they believe the little girl who saw him strangle the, or punch the dog first, um, and they had to go save the dog and stuff, and, uh, I don't know. Oh, it had a uh, Mulder in it from the X-Files. He played a small part in it, <laughs> you know, and... The little glasses kid from uh, Step by Step, or was it Growing Pains? I don't know, one of those two movies. The little nerdy glasses kid with the blonde hair from one of those movie, uh, shows, I mean, TV shows. I think it was Step by Step, because I didn't watch a lot of Growing Pains, and I love Step by Step, though. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to watch all these movies in a row, if I could possibly manage that without jumping off of a cliff. But the good news is, it's all downhill from here. Just 50 more, you know? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. <sighs> but yeah, I'd say it sucks, but I mean, there's so many better kids' movies with dogs than in this one. Is it better than Air Bud? Maybe. But not by much. Not by too much. <laughs> Just because it looks like they put a little bit of imagination in it with, um, you know, I mean, that was a pretty weird. I wonder why the guy that was writing this movie was like, okay, so we got to have a villain and he has to try to steal the dog. What would you want the dog for? Let's make him shoot it in the head. At the end of the movie, okay, spoilers alert, you know, if you want to watch this movie, turn it off now. You know, I probably ruined it for you anyway. But he has this little dog, he's like, he's like, so he has, all right, I'll slow down here. I'm, I'm going crazy. They catch Beethoven, and the guy's going to, like, kill it by testing the bullet in his head. So he has his henchman, he goes, get me, Be save me, or, like, destroy the dogs, like, all the dogs that he has. And by the way, at the end they say, He's killed over 140-something animals. So he's convicted of 140-something acts of animal cruelty. So, yeah, for kids. Um, <laughs> but he says, bring me the dog. You know, destroy the other dogs and bring me, save me Beethoven so I can test out the ammunition. And he's like, and get me the little ammo and grab me one of the small dogs. <laughs> and the guy's like, yeah, boss, I know just the one. And he grabs this little dog. He gives it to him. The guy pulls out his gun. He's like, yeah, I'm going to shoot this dog right in the head. He doesn't say that, but he, he has a dog with a gun. And then the little kids like, drive through the wall of the car. And they're like, yeah, I'd save him. And then <laughs> they hit the table with all the syringes on it. And all the syringes hit the guy. And the guy in his chest, he's like, <laughs> I'm like oh, my God. Like, this was 92, I think, the movie was made. Were all movies back in the early 90s, you, you get away with this kind of stuff? Like, I, 
I feel like a hundred million parents would be like, oh, you know, you're teaching our kids that this shit is cool stuff. Now I got like it's got me being bad. Oh man. But you know, just fifty more and we got this. We got this good. <laughs> And the numbers are going down now, at least. It was up 50, down. Still got some catching up to do, because I was supposed to be at 50 13 days ago to be on track to hit 100 at the end of the year. So I got to start moving. Till next time. Later, dude.